Welcome to Literary and Jury Charge Practice. Let's get started with some jury charge. Ready? To attest to his position, the district attorney said that there was an affidavit filed long before the United States had any presence in the area. The affidavit goes on to say that when violence occurred, the defendant surrendered to the general in charge of the region. He was not involved in any fighting that took place against the United States. During the period in which any fighting occurred, he was not present. The defendant said that the affidavit does not allege that the defendant played any part in bringing about the violence that would occur. Right. A little warm up there. Try some some literary material now, and <clears throat> this is called "What Should You Do with Those Old VHS Tapes?" Ready? A videographer never feels old until he or she has to deal with disposing of old technology. Up and coming generations will be really frustrated at the previous generations if we do not dispose of the chemically created items in a safe fashion. This spinning rock hurtling through space is our home and we must protect it for ourselves, our children's children, and beyond. How to dispose of old VHS, CDs, DVDs, and other old technology in my search to do the right thing, I found many people who suggested that I take the old technology to Goodwill and thrift shops. However, I'm sure they receive enough old useless items and Recycling old VHS costs money, not to mention confidentiality issues that may still exist in some cases. Some public libraries accept the donation of old VHS movies, but legal videos may have confidentiality issues, so depositing them at a library isn't keeping with our standards of practice. I have researched a few options, and I suggest you also do an internet search for local options before sending to the companies I have found. 
thinking green and taking care of the environment costs money. I like to think of it as an investment in my great great grandchild's well being. I might be long dead by then, but what we do now can affect the lives of people 100 years from now. I have to say I have a whole lot of VHS tapes <laughs> that I need to figure out and not necessarily legal just legal you know recordings but just movies and that kind of thing so this is this is an interesting article helpful all right let's get back to some jury charge practice Ready? In this case, the judge had a meeting with the attorneys to discuss the way that the defendant was acting in court. In this meeting, the judge discussed with the attorneys whether the defendant was getting adequate representation. The bailiff has a responsible position in the courtroom. The bailiff is responsible for the safety of everyone in the courtroom. Even when criminals are bound, they can often get out of hand. The bailiff has to make sure that order is maintained in the court. The bailiff carries a gun in order to prevent any problems in the courtroom. He is the only one who is allowed to carry a gun or any type of weapon in the courtroom. The clerk of the court is someone who is usually present in the court. The clerk of the court often swears in the person or has someone take an oath to swear the truth. The clerk is like the secretary to the judge. The clerk has an important position in helping during the trial process. The clerk and bailiff usually remain quiet during the case. You will often see the bailiff or the clerk answering the telephone. You will also see the clerk marking evidence that is to be admitted. Often you will see the bailiff get up and walk to the back of the courtroom. The bailiff's job is to keep order in the courtroom. The bailiff is dressed similar to a police officer. The clerk of the court does not dress like the bailiff. When the recent case took place in court, the judge began to explain to the jury members that it was their duty 
to determine if the state had been able to understand the defendant. He wanted the jury to decide whether there was enough proof to charge him with committing the crime. The judge explained that the defendant did not have the burden of proving that he was innocent. All right, I don't think we had any words that were, were too challenging in there. We had bailiff. But other than that, don't think I see anything else. Let's carry on with our, our literary material, the article regarding old VHS tapes. Let's see what else, what else it has to say. Ready? Earth 911 is a great site full of information to help people help the earth. At the top of the home page, click on the Recycle Search tab. Type the kind of technology, such as VHS or CD, in the Search For box Type in your nearest city and state, then click search. I found a very large list of locations. However, there is no detail on whether or not the locations that pop up charge for dropping off VHS VCRs, CDs, DVDs, etc. I suggest calling before you go. Through the trouble of packing the truck and spending the gas, the CD Recycling Center of America is just that. They receive CDs and DVDs and the packaging they come in. The CD Recycling Center also has a great video on how to prep your old CD technology for recycling and what they do with the end result. It looks as though they do not have fees for sending in your old technology, which is most likely due to how they process the technology and make their income by selling the reconstituted product. reconstituted that's a good one to, to add to your list reconstituted 
with technology, new words are, are I guess, coming up and or words being used in different ways. So reconstituted is a, is a good one. Good vocabulary development. Let's get back to some jury charge practice. Ready? The burden of proof was the burden for the other side. In the United States, the burden of proof is never on the defendant. In many places, the burden of proof is on the accused. The judge explained all this to the jury in the court. He wanted to make sure that the jury did not think that the defendant was the one who had the burden of proof. Often, people who have never been on a jury before think that the defendant has to prove that he or she is not guilty. The burden is on the other side. The defendant was being accused of being involved in a robbery. Even though he was charged with the crime, the judge said he was not guilty until the evidence proved to the jury beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant was guilty. The jury then found him to be guilty. The judge further explained that the decision as to whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty of a crime is not his decision. The decision is left to the jury. The only time that the decision as to innocence or guilt is made by the judge is when there is no jury present. The judge may decide that reasonable people could not have reached the same decision. When there is no jury, the judge decides both the matters of law and the matters of fact. See if we can finish up our our literary on the old VHS type tapes. Ready? Green disc takes all kinds of techno trash. However, it's best to check their site first and even contact them before getting too involved. They do require you to set up an account and the minimum order size is $30.
contact green disk ahead of time if you want to donate a smaller order. Recycling Services Inc. is located in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and they were very quick to return my call. There is a fee of $10 a square foot. Jim at Recycling Services Inc. described it as a case of beer size, which I found amusing since one of my boxes is a beer box. With that, it is time to make some calls and get these boxes of depositions out of my home. Cleaning space is always a happy day in the life of a videographer and of a court reporter who remembers the paper days. Maybe this year's cleanup open more space in your homes. Right. And with that, that will conclude our literary and jury charge practice. Thank you.